In this video, I'll explain the basics of JavaScript concatenation with Grunt. If you want to follow along with the code on your machine, just clone this GitHub repo. Let's start out by taking a quick look at package.json. So here in the dev dependencies section, I'm pulling in two things. Grunt, which of course we need, and then Grunt contrib concat, which is going to help us with our concatenation tasks. So next up, let's look at uh, the Grunt file. In the Grunt file, there's a few things happening. First, we're calling the init config method of Grunt, and we're passing it this object. The first property in that object is a property called concat, and that concat is an object. And in that object, the first property is options. In the options property, we're setting one option, separator. Separator is an arbitrary piece of text that can go between each source file in the final output. Here I'm setting it as a colon. It could be three colons. It could be the word hello. We'll demonstrate this in a few minutes, but the main thing to keep in mind is that the separator is arbitrary text that goes between each uh, source file in the final output. Next up, we have dist. The dist property is an object with two properties. The first property there is src. That is an array. Is an, it is a list of strings. Each string is the path to one of our source files. So here we're setting the source files to be src slash script one hyphen js, src slash script hyphen two dot js, and src slash script hyphen three dot js. And those three files can be found in src, just like here, src, src. And here's script hyphen one dot js, script hyphen two dot js, and script hyphen three dot js. As you can see, those files, they're just simple JavaScript files of func one, func two, func three. There's nothing much going on. They don't really do anything. These are just examples of source files you could have your source files would probably be tens or hundreds or thousands of lines of code. That's why we're concatenating them. But just the point here is that uh, this SRC property is an array that lists the, the location of our source files, the files that we want to concatenate. Next up is dest. Dest is the location for the output. That's where the concatenated file will go. It means we're going to take all of these files and put them into one file and we're specifying where that one file will go. We're saying it's going to go in the dist folder and then in a file called allscripts.js. Well there is no, if you look on the left, there is no dist folder. There's src, node modules of course, but there's no there's no dist folder. Well grunt will create that folder if it doesn't exist and then it will create the file allscripts.js as well if that doesn't exist. If either one exists, it'll overwrite it. So just keep in mind, the really important thing here is you want to have your list of source files, the files that we want to concatenate, and then your dest property, which is where the final output would be. Where do these three files, these three source files, wind up in one concatenated file? And that's specified here. Next up, we're running the load npm tasks method of grunt, and we're using that to load our grunt contrib concat plugin. And then finally, we're running the register task method of Grunt, and we're saying, hey, the default task is this list of tasks. This is an array, so it's a list of tasks that just happens to have one task in it, so it's an array with one element. But what we're saying here is, hey, when the user types the word Grunt in their terminal with no other arguments, just Grunt, then the default action you should take is to run these tasks. And again, this list of tasks has only one item, so we're just saying run the concat task. Um, so let's take a look at the folder structure. So on the right, we have our actual folder. As you can see, there is no dist subfolder in there. We're going to see that in a second. When I run the grunt command, it's going to create that dist folder and create the output file. So in my terminal, I'm going to run grunt. And on the right, it created a dist folder, and then it created an allscripts.js file in that dist folder. If I delete uh, the dist folder and then run grunt again, it creates that folder again and creates the output file. If I delete the output file and run grunt again, it sees the folders there, 
but it sees that the output file doesn't exist, so it creates it. And if I change something in my config and run grunt again, which we'll see in a second, it's going to overwrite the output file. So let's go back and look at the output file. So now we have this disk folder on the left that we didn't have before. Uh, grunt created that folder. And then we have the output file, all scripts.js. And you can see that it's the contents of our source files, func1, func2, func3, func1, func2, Three. So it's all of our source files have been concatenated into one file. Now remember the uh, separated property I talked about? I specified a single colon. Well back, this is where that happens right here. Each source file is separated by whatever text I specify. If I go back to my grunt file and I specify, um, let's say, um, a JavaScript comment save that and I go back to the terminal and run grunt now when I look at the output each source file is separated by this comment and I could specify anything here I could specify uh, maybe like I just want three semicolons and I type run grunt again it overwrites the file and now I have three colons so you may not want three colons you may want to comment it doesn't really matter what you put but just keep in mind this is arbitrary text that you put here and when you run grunt it will use that text to determine how each source file is separated in the final output file so just to recap in the grunt file we want to run in init config pass it a configuration object specify a separator if we want that's optional um, but the really important stuff is here. We want to specify the source files. Which files do we want to put all together? What are the files to be concatenated? And then what is the dest? What is the output file? And specify a folder with a path to a JavaScript file that will contain all of the source files here. And then we run load our plugin, and then we just specify the default task. And again, the final result of all this is one concatenated file that has the contents of each of the source files that we specified. Hopefully this got you started with JavaScript concatenation in Grunt. If you're interested in more tutorials about Grunt, please go to my blog and use the tag Grunt. If you're interested in more web development tutorials, please go to kevinchism.com video.